Hello and welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. I want to give you an idea that you can test out with virtual or demo trading. And this idea does not work perfectly. It does not work 100% of the time. So uh, if you're going to test it out, don't test it with real money, okay? Demo trading only. All right, so uh, it's it, if you look at all these uh, candles, this is tradingview.com, it's Apple stock, the three minute candlestick chart. If you look at all these candles, which one stands out the most to you? Well, to me, it's this one, right? Uh, because it went way below the Bollinger Bands here, all right? And it has this long lower wick or shadow. Uh, also, notice that it even uh, touched the lower band on the three standard deviation Bollinger Bands. Because on trading view here, I have two sets of Bollinger Bands. I've got the, and they're both on this standard uh, 20 period uh, look back period okay so I've got the two standard deviation Bollinger Bands here and here okay those are the narrower bands right and then I've got the wider bands the three standard deviation Bollinger Bands here and then all the way down here all right those are the wider bands and the candles don't touch the lower three standard deviation Bollinger Band, it, it's not going to touch it very often. So it's pretty significant when it does. That means it's probably short-term oversold, meaning short-term cheap. And should you buy it there? Well, not necessarily, but what if also, uh, what if you got the wick, the lower shadow, the lower wick of a candle, yes, touching or even going below that three standard deviation lower Bollinger Band, which doesn't happen very often. Okay, it touched it here. It actually went below it. Uh, but then you get that interesting looking candle that really stands out where you have no upper wick, you know, or very little. In this case, no upper wick or shadow at all. And you've got a long lower wick or shadow, longer than the body, right? This is the body of the candle and look how long this lower wick is, longer than the body itself, right? Uh, so that's oftentimes a good sign. Uh, now you probably want to use other indicators, you know, maybe put a moving average up there and make sure that the candles are above the 50 day moving average or the, you know, uh, or 50 period moving average or the 100 or 200, whatever it is, to make sure that you are still in an uptrend and you're not in some sort of crash mode, right? Because you probably don't want to, you, you don't necessarily want to trade if you really feel that the market is crashing. Uh, that may not be the best time to take a long position to buy, right? Uh, so if you're using other indicators and just using your common sense, this can be fairly uh, consistent. Does not work perfectly, does not work 100% of the time, but when you get one of these candles with a long lower wick, no upper wick or hardly any upper wick, the wick is longer than the body and it touches that lower three standard deviation Bollinger Band, which doesn't happen very often, okay? I mean, notice it went up uh, when this happened. Okay, let's see if it happens again. Well, here it is again, right? You got the lower wick and uh, not much upper wick here at all. That lower wick or shadow is, it's longer than the body and it touched that three standard deviation lower band there, lower Bollinger Band. Doesn't happen very often. And when it did, you know, boom, right? Doesn't always happen like that. What about this one? Well, eh, I don't like it as much. Yes, uh, I like the way it, it touched that lower three standard deviation lower Bollinger Band, but that wick isn't very long. The body is longer than the wick. All right. I mean, it still went up somewhat, but it, it doesn't seem as powerful here. Uh, let's see. What about, yeah, same with this one. Uh, that lower wick is smaller than the body, so it just doesn't seem very powerful there. Uh, so let's keep looking, find another example here. Uh, oh, well, here are two examples. Look at that. Bounced right off of it, boom, up, right? Look how long that lower wick is. And it touched the lower Bollinger Band, three standard deviation, and then did it again here. All right, it, it went up, did it again here. Look how long that lower wick is. Hardly any upper wicks on these, none at all here, and then barely an upper wick here, and then boom, again, right? Boom, and then boom. Uh, I'm not saying it always happens like this, but it's something to think about, something to look at. 
Uh, it doesn't happen that often, although, well, look at this. It happened twice in a row, practically, all right? So, uh, and this is on a three-minute candlestick chart. Uh, you could test this out with demo or virtual trading on almost any time frame, I think. Uh, daily candles, if you're more of a swing trader, that kind of thing. One-minute candles, if you're a short-term scalper. Uh, so try it out, all right? And if you'd like more help with trading or investing, I do offer coaching. You can email me for the coaching at davidmodell at gmail.com. Hey, I want to thank you for watching and listening. I will talk to you again soon.